Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to import PDF files into Inkscape. So it's actually a really, really cool feature uh, that Inkscape has built in. So if you ever want to edit a PDF file, uh, this is an option you can do it, but pulling elements out of PDF files it works great for. I'll show you sort of some of the power of it and some of the shortcomings. So I have a PDF file here, and this is just, uh, this is actually from the Magpie. It's like a Raspberry Pi. Um, magazine that, that gets released about uh, yeah Raspberry Pi and microcontrollers. Anyway, so these are some of the pages of this PDF, and we can see it's just a, a PDF file, and it's a like a magazine. So it's got pictures, it's got text on it. Well, what I want to do is just drag this in. So if I left click and drag this into Inkscape, it brings up this PDF import uh, window, and it I can only import one page at a time. So I can do page one, page two, whatever, whatever page I want to do, and it'll show me what that page looks like, and then give me some different options for importing it. So I'm just going to do the first page. This is, like, or this is actually the cover of the magazine. And then these import settings, I'm going to leave everything how it is. But for example, it says replace PDF fonts by the closest named installed fonts. So one thing is, this PDF has uh, fonts that it, that it uses, and I guess they weren't Maybe they're embedded, maybe they're not. I'm not sure about that. But if they're not embedded, then my I have to have those fonts on my computer or it's going to look weird. And I don't have them, so we'll see it look a little weird. If, so I'm just going to hit OK right now. And it's going to bring this in. And so we can see right off, if I hit the plus sign and zoom in a little bit, it looks a little different than it does here. So this is the original, viewing it in the PDF. And this is what it looks like over here. So we see uh, some of these fonts are a little bit different. This actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe this is an image. But look, the fonts up here, for example, where it says all new Raspberry Pi getting started, up here it's different. It's like all, it's running together because it's using a different text. Um, but that being said, if I select the whole thing and I ungroup it, so we go to, um, how do you ungroup from here? Object and ungroup, or you can do Control Shift G. And now everything's a separate object I can grab and move around just this Raspberry, just this text. We can grab just this text here. And then I can actually edit this text too. So if I want to edit like this here and we want to call it something else, we can do that. Uh, but it's doing it a little bit weird here. But we can delete it. We can take this board here and move it and see just what this picture looks like. So it's actually pretty cool. We can take the ISBN number and kind of move it around too. Pretty awesome, huh? So anyway. This is a way that you can edit, and it's not perfect. As you saw there when I tried to edit, if I try to edit this text here, oops, let's zoom in. If I try and edit like these numbers, they're going to edit like one at a time. If I hit the backspace, it just erases the zero, but my cursor stays here. So that's kind of one shortcoming. You can kind of play around with that and see text is not going to be perfect in this. But these things are like this. I don't know if this is a, if I, I can ungroup this thing probably. So this is actually a vector image. And we can get real get down in here and just change. If I want to change the colors of these leaves, I can select both of them, change it to like blue, or change it to, change it up a little bit. So it's really cool. You can actually pull in objects from PDFs and edit them using Inkscape. And that's really what I, all I wanted to show with this. And then if you want to have the fonts show correctly, just make sure that you uh, have that font installed on your computer. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and play around. You're going to find out that different PDFs import differently. Some It depends on how the PDF was made. Sometimes you're going to be able to grab every little object. Sometimes you're not, and it's all just going to be one picture. Sometimes the fonts will actually, or the text will actually be a picture, so you can't actually get in and edit, like this case here. Oh, well, this one, this one is a picture, but so we can't get in and edit this letter. It's actually a path. See that? So it's not... A font M is actually a path. So different different uh, objects, different paths are going to have different properties within every PDF. But go ahead and download some PDFs and play with it, dragging and dropping them in there. And uh, yeah, get familiar with it. I'm sure you'll find some uses. I've used this a ton. I've brought in like construction documents, for example, for like estimating. Uh, I bring in like a floor plan of a house, and I can like click and make notes, uh, do different things to that floor plan. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you on the next video.